This is a programmable thermal socket and this is how it works. First, I power up the device just as the system initializes. Next, I follow the prompt and set the duration that I want the output socket to be on, just as I have 14 seconds as my preset time. Completing the settings, the countdown starts, just as the switch will be on only for the stipulated time. The countdown reaches zero, the system automatically shuts down and presents another prompt. In this video, I will show you how this project is built, as well as share the relevant design information ranging from the Arduino code and the schematic diagram all at the end of the video. Starting off this build, I assembled all the required components that I will be using. Next, I set up the PEV board for soldering. For the soldering purpose, I will start off with the discrete electronics components, just as I have them well soldered in place. Next, I started off soldering for the wire extendable components just as I will have them locked into the adaptable balls that I'm going to be using for the casing. Having that way sorted out, I started off the programming for this project. This is the code for this project and I'm going to explain uh, each lines of code and also tell you exactly what they're going to be doing for this project. Starting off with the very first part, I kicked off this project by first, including the library for the liquid crystal. And over here, I indicated the pinout for um, the connections I have on the LUCD as per the uh, microcontroller that we're using, the Atmega328 microcontroller. Here, I declared the push buttons, the pinout for each push button, just as I have them 12, 11, 10, and 9. And this is also the pinout for um, the relay and after which I move ahead to initialize the timer variables just as I have the timers which include the hour, minutes, seconds. Then I have over here the initialization I made also for the menu program and the menu navigation which are going to be seen once we uh, begin to test the system. And over here at the void setup, over here at the void setup I had the um, the LCD initialized just as it, just as I have it over here. Um, this part is just for it to uh, uh, I would like to display the information more or less on, on startup once you turn on the system, and then it prompts you to set a timer from this part, from this part over here. And having done that, then I declare the input pin and the output pin for the um, pin mode which is the push button will be the input and also the relay and the um, the relay will be the output just as i have it turned off on the initial setup over here at the loop this is now what we have so i i have this um this button states to read each of these button the push button just to know whether when uh, each button is being pressed and after which we kick off with the first uh, operational uh, functionality of this code and uh, which is using the if statement so first and foremost if the first button is pressed that is whenever the first button is low whenever it goes low we are using active low for the button so whenever the button goes low at this line the system should um, move into the timer setup and from here it will, it will start up the increment for um, the timer system it will use this for the prompt and after which as you press the next button that is the next button the system that is the button 2 over here provided you've pressed the first button so once you've pressed the first button if you press the second button the system will begin to increment the seconds so it will keep incrementing the seconds as you keep pressing it then whenever the seconds is above 60 it now begins to increment the minute and whenever the minute is above 60 just as we have over here it will begin to increment the hours so you can set the timer for seconds minutes or hour depending on um, your preset time um, time you want to like give for the output circuit and having done that we do the just to reduce the number so the other button the button 3 does the opposite of button 2 so whenever you keep pressing it it keeps reducing the value of the seconds like when you want to change the value and over here when it goes above 60 when it goes above zero sorry it begins to reduce the minutes and same is applicable for hours 
and that is all we have at this ending part of this code now whenever the button for the last button is being pressed the system saves the information and then have the settings confirm that the settings is true that is the boolean it's confirmed that the settings is true and uh, we have the start boolean also true and having all these things uh, well documented the system at this line of code if settings is true if we've completed the settings we'll turn on the relay high for the timer that is for the for the duration of time the preset values is um, set on the system so the system will always be on until the timer uh, until the timer and everything about it just over here until the timer and all the whole settings we've met is zero the system will turn off and having done that that's just the end um, part of the code and we just have over 182 lines of code which is so simple to understand just as i try to attach relevant uh, comment also to further explain some few lines that will uh, likely be a burden while you are trying to build up on this project and as we are reading or studying the program code completing everything for this particular code i now had to upload the code to the arduino board just as i have it well uploaded to the microcontroller i carefully ejected the microcontroller from the arduino board and inserted it onto the soda board Powering the ball through the transformer, just as you can see over here, the LCD interface the prompt, just as I have the system ready for sale up. Completing the casing for this project, I now have the system looking just like this. I connected the lamp holder to the output socket and just as I powered it up, I set up the time in seconds. Just as you can see, the socket went off after the countdown reached zero. And this is simply how you can make a programmable timer switch. I'm currently designing the PCB for this project using the schematic diagram. And you can find the code, schematic diagram, as well as the PCB GABA file on the video description. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'm going to see you on the next project. Do have a blissful day.